Today, we will be featuring Origin's Pearl String Project, located in Mineral County, Nevada. The project is a new high sulfidation epithermal exploration target in Nevada's prolific Walker Lane. This presentation describes an exploration project and may include forward-looking statements. The project is made up of 201 royalty-free, unpatented mining claims covering 16.3 square kilometers. The property is on federal land administered by the Bureau of Land Management. The project is located in a very productive portion of the crust for high sulfidation systems, with multiple past producing mines, including the Borealis deposit, 48 kilometers to the west, the Paradise Peak deposit, 32 kilometers to the east, and the largest, 4.2 million ounce goldfield deposit, 150 kilometers to the south. All of these deposits are made up of multiple gold cells within and around large hydrothermal alteration cells with a distinct quartz alunite mineral assemblage. The Pearl String Project, shown here on geology map of the central Walker Lane, is hosted in a thick package of Oligocene Age volcanic rocks. The purple hatchard pattern defines a very large 25 square kilometer alteration cell, typically referred to as a lithocap, in porphyry exploration. Hyperspectral remote sensing allows geologists at origin to map out the entire lithocap and focus in on the quartz alunite where high sulfidation gold deposits typically occur. In this lithocap, three young, right lateral strike slip faults have dismembered the alteration cell, extending it in a northwest-southeast direction. On the southeast side of the alteration cell, two open pit gold deposits have been mined, including the historic Santa Fe deposit and Fortitude Gold's Isabella Pearl deposit, which is the newest heap leach operation in Nevada. On the northwest end of the same alteration cell, Origin has identified two exploration targets separated by the young, post-mineral Gumdrop Hills Fault. In the eastern target, surface rock chip sampling, shown here, has identified a gold-bearing, fine-grained, ashy tuff horizon in multiple exposures over a strike length of 800 meters. The classified hyperspectral image on the right defines a perspective 0.6 by 2 kilometer quartz alunite alteration cell that hosts the gold mineralization. 13 surface rock samples have been taken from limited exposures of fine-grained ashy tuff units which range from 0.6 to 12 grams per ton with an average of 3.6 grams per ton of gold. Most of the area is covered by talus so the true width and extent of mineralization is not known at this time. The best exposure of the system is in a deeply incised drainage on its southern margin as shown in this photograph. Golden anomalism in stream sediment samples extending to the north are labeled here in maroon and support the presence of significant gold mineralization in the covered slope between exposures. No historic prospecting or drilling has been completed in this area, and the favorable volcanic stratigraphy for mineralization in other deposits in the district should be preserved at depth. Vuggy silica barite breccias, a classic rock type for high sulfidation epithermal mineralization, are also present in the eastern target area. In Origin's west target, quartz alunite altered hills are surrounded by a shallow layer of transported alluvium. Drilling in the 1980s by FMC on the northwestern margin of the target area intercepted a blanket of quartz alunite alteration dipping gently east into the covered area. Historic gold intercepts, which cannot be verified at this time, reported anomalous gold within quartz alunite blanket including 35 feet of 0.24 grams per ton gold. Approximately 3 kilometers to the southeast, similar quartz alunite alteration is also present and is anomalous in gold, running approximately 0.2 grams per ton gold, as shown in this sample here. While neither of these occurrences are considered economically viable, they define a large, gold-bearing alteration shell, which is covered by shallow alluvium. In 2021, Origin completed a 125.5 line kilometer ground magnetic survey to evaluate the potential for the covered portions of the west target. Quartz alunite alteration on the project, associated with gold mineralization, reacts with the host volcanic stratigraphy to destroy magnetic minerals, resulting in a relative decrease in the magnetic susceptibility of the rock. The ground magnetic survey was used to map out this alteration in the subsurface that defines a 1.8 by 2.5 kilometer area of strong magnetite destruction in the southern area and a second 0.5 by 1.5 kilometer magnetite destruction area in the northern portion. 
Follow-up work on the project could involve detailed IP surveys through the area of mag magnetite destruction. High sulfidation cells often have deeply penetrating, strongly resistive bodies which can be identified with IP and are spatially associated with high-grade gold mineralization. Geometries for high-grade gold mineralization in this environment may include blankets controlled by favorable stratigraphy or large breaches zones as shown in this slide from Solaris Norte, which is currently being put into production by gold fields. Ore zones often have sharp upper contacts and very little gold mineralization in the overlying alteration cell. The presence of low-grade gold throughout the alteration cell at Pearl String, along with the presence of high-grade gold in isolated exposures, provide encouragement that a similar size and geometry ore body may exist on the project. This will be the target for future phases of exploration on Origin's Pearl String project. For more information on this or other exploration projects in the western U.S., Canada, or Mexico, please send me an email at dan at originroyalties.com or visit our website at www.originroyalties.com.